In this video we're going to solve a radical equation that has two radicals and here's our example and as you know we're going to want to isolate the radical term and when it's got two radicals like this one does you're going to want to isolate one radical term on each side of the equal sign. Then we're going to square each side and we're going to be really careful when we square the sides because that may involve boiling on some instances so we're going to talk about that then you, we're going to simplify uh, each of the sides, combine like terms, and in this case we are going to have another radical um, term still in the equation, so we're going to repeat the process. We're going to isolate the radical term again, square each side, collect terms, and solve for x. Okay, so here's the equation. Again, we're going to isolate one radical on each side of the equation, so we're going to add this square root of x plus 1 over to this side of the equation. Okay, so there's our, our add, we've added this over to this side, and now we're going to square both sides. Square both sides. And when we square a square root, as you know, they undo each other here, and you have 2x plus 36 squaring a square root. These are inverse functions, so they undo each other, and you get what you started out with. But over here we have two terms, so we are going to have to FOIL. So good idea is to write this twice so that you can use your first, outer, inner, and last. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to first multiply 5 times 5, 25. Then when you do your outers, remember that the 5 goes in front of the square root of x plus 1. The inners, there's another 5 times the square root of x plus 1. And then you're going to multiply the 2 last, which is again a case where we're taking a square root expression and squaring it. So these are going to undo each other. Okay, so over here on the right hand side we have uh, 25 plus and then a 5 square root of x plus 1 plus another 5 square root of x plus 1 is 10 square root of x plus 1. And as we s said squaring this square root will give you just your x plus 1 back out. Okay, and we have some like terms. 25 and 1 is 26. So now we have 26 plus 10 square root of x plus 1 plus x. And then on this side we still have our 2x plus 36. So as you can see we still have a radical expression here on the right hand side so we are going to um, isolate again. So we need to move over the x term and the 26 by subtracting. So we'll subtract those terms over to this side. So over here we have uh, now uh, x plus 10 and then over here we have our 10 square root of x plus 1. Okay, um, at this point, let's square both sides again. So here we go, we're going to square both sides. All right. And here you have a binomial, two terms, and you're squaring. So we're back to our foiling. So if you need to, or to make it easier, let's write that twice. And we're going to do first x squared, and then you're going to do plus 10x and another plus 10x and plus 100 and then over here now look at this 10 is outside of the square root so we're going to use the power rule we're going to use a product to a power rule here and just kind of distribute this square so we have 10 squared so you could want to square that times square root of x plus 1 squared we talked about what this is. This is just x plus 1, but this is 100 over here. So let's combine some like terms. We have x squared plus 20x plus 100 over here. And then over here we have 100, and then put a parenthesis because this binomial x plus 1 is here. 
So what we're going to want to do at this point is distribute. And uh, notice we have an x squared here, which means we've ended up with a quadratic equation. And to solve a quadratic equation, as you know, we want to get a 0 on one side and factor. So that's what we're going to do, collect terms, factor, and so on. So first, let's just distribute here. So we have 100x plus 100. And then um, now let's get that 0 on one side. So we are going to subtract the 100x and the 100 from both sides. So 100x and the 100 from both sides. OK, so that gives us over here an x squared minus 80x. And I'm loving here that these 100s give 0, because that's going to make this guy a lot easier to factor. And over here, we have 0. All right, so now to factor this, you will notice there's a GCF, a greatest common factor of x. So let's take that out. That leaves us with x minus 80. And now we're going to set each of these factors equal to 0 and solve for x. So then we get here x equals 0, or x minus 80 equals 0, which means x equals 80. Now, with these equations, you do want to check your answer, because sometimes you have extraneous roots, solutions that don't work. So we're going to check. And we got to check it back into the original. And we're going to check x equals 0. And we're going to check the x equals 80. OK, so x equals 0. So 2 times 0 is 0. So here we get square root of 36, which is 6, as we know, minus square root of 0 plus 1 is 1, square root of 1. So 6 minus 1 does equal 5. So 0 is a good solution. Now we're going to check x equals 80. And so then we have a uh, square root of 80 times 2 is 160. 160 plus 36 is 196. Minus square root of 80 plus 1 is 81. And square root of 196 is 14. 14 minus square root of 81, which is 9. 14 minus 9 is 5. So they both check, so we get to keep both equations. OK, so now let's look at this solution that was sent in by a student. And, then, and we're going to talk about, there are a couple of errors. So we're going to talk about what the errors are here. OK, so here's the solution. Good job getting this over to the uh, the square root of x plus 1 to the other side. That's perfect. Good job over here squaring the square root and getting 2x two, two plus 36. Here, though, is the first error. So foiling the 5 plus root x plus 1, this middle term, this uh, coefficient should be a 10, as we saw above. So, right? so this should be a 10. Okay, And um, good job moving over and getting the x plus 10, just like we did. But again, here was a problem uh, because that was that 10 uh, is wrong. Um, did a good job here of dividing the 10. That's an option to divide. It is going to have frac. That's going to uh, uh, um, get us to have fractions. So sometimes that's an option to divide to isolate this completely. But sometimes when it's fractions like this, I tend to leave the 10 where it's at, as you saw me do up above, and square it. Just make sure you square it and get the 100. All right. Um, and then here's the other, the next error, which was, again, squaring these two terms. Uh, this is a binomial, so it, you need to write this binomial twice, and there will be a middle term here, so, and, and even this square will be x squared. So that was where the error was here, the second error uh, on this problem. All right, hope this video helps.